Hello nurses, this is Kevin with NursingCamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing in the NCLEX. Today's focus is on ABG interpretation, pulling it all together, partially uncompensated and compensated blood gases. From my sticky note found on NursingCamp.com, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and social media. Alright, let's get into it. So in the previous lectures I've been talking about um, ABG interpretation. And when we're looking at ABG interpretation, this is the layout that we do. It's called the ABABAB method. I find it the most accurate. Um, the way it works is, is that the A stands for acidic. The B stands for basic or alkalotic. And what we do is, is that we basically will go through an ABG and then basically circle the letters that coincide with the ABG. Then we will then connect the letters and then we will interpret. But we need a couple more steps in here because the PaCO2 is regulated by respirations. Okay? So this section is respiratory. And um, because respirations will either go up or down based on what's going on with the acid base, and that's compensation. The next is it's regulated by the kidneys. And the kidneys are called metabolic. So here's a metabolic section. Please see my other lectures where I cover this more in depth. Okay, so let's get into interpretation. All right, so the first step of any ABG interpretation is first, where's the pH? Okay, so you start with the pH first. And we circle the letter according to the pH. All right, so let's, take, let's just work through some here. Okay, so pH is 7.32. All right, so while well, the pH is not in the middle, so it's over here. Okay, so the first rule is, is the pH normal? If it is not normal, it is either going to be partially compensated or uncompensated, period. Okay, so if you are circling anything on this side or this side, it's either going to be partially compensated or uncompensated. So the next step is, is that PaCO2 is 50. Okay, well, it's over here. It's greater than. And then the bicarb is greater than 28. So we have, um, we can, so we have everything circled. Now we connect the letters. Okay, so we know this is an acidotic condition. We know this is in the respiratory area because we're connecting to the respiratory. So we have respiratory acidosis all right so now because the next step is everything is on the p on the peripheral all these letters are circled peripherally so that is partially compensated respiratory acidosis all right, let's do another one all right so the next one is a ph is 7.50 all right well 7.50 is over here so it's not in the normal it's not in the pH, it's in the normal. So it is either has to be partially or uncompensated. It has to be one of these two. So we go to the next thing. We have a PaCO2 of 40. It's in the middle here. And then we have a bicarb of 32. Okay. So the next rule is we connect the letters together. So we have an alkalotic condition. We have it in the metabolic area metabolic alkalosis. But what about this? In the previous lecture we said that anytime you circle in here it is uncompensated. All right, let's move to the next one. All right, so the next one is the pH is 7.6. So that's outside the normal area. Okay, so once again we're outside this box. So it has to be either partially or uncompensated. It can't be compensated. So we move on. We have a PaCO2 of 30. Okay, circle over there. And we have a bicarb of uh, 24. Okay, so it's in there. We connect the letters together. We know it's an alkalotic condition. We know it's in the respiratory area because we circled that one. So we respiratory alkalosis. But because we circled in here, it is uncompensated. Next one. 
All right, so we have a pH of 7.30. All right, so it's outside this area. All right, so we know that anytime it's outside this area, it's either going to be partially or uncompensated. And then we go 7.30, we say the PaCO2 is 32, and the bicarb is 19. Okay, the next step is we connect these together. We have an acidosis. It's metabolic area, so it's metabolic acidosis. Now, everything is in the peripheral, right? So on the outside, P. P, so it has to be partially compensated metabolic acidosis. All right, next one. All right, so we have a pH of uh, 7.41. All right, so 7.41. Now, uh-oh, it's in the middle. Okay, we said that this is defined by 7.40, and it goes this way. So whenever it's in the middle, it's compensated, period. Okay, so it is compensated, but it's 7.41. It's closer to the basic, so we circle here. PaCO2 is here, right? These are 28. Bicarb is here, right? So the next rule is we connect the two together. We have an alkalotic condition. It's in the respiratory area, respiratory alkalosis. But remember the pH was in the middle? We, so we have compensated respiratory alkalosis. All right. Next one. We have a pH of 7.28. Okay, well, we're right on the outside again. Uh, 7.28 we have a PaCO2 of 39 we're in the middle and then we have a bicarb of 18 okay so the next rule is we connect these two together we have an acidosis it's in the metabolic area and because we connected in the middle here it is uncompensated okay so the next one we have a uh, pH of 7.43 Okay, uh, up, we're in the middle. So 7.43, we need to define 40, 7.43. It's closer to here. But because we're in the middle, it's going to be a compensated blood gas. So let's move forward. PaCO2 of 50. Okay, so it's definitely over here. Um, and bicarb of 30. So we have a alkalotic condition. We have a metabolic alkalotic. And because the pH is normal, it is compensated metabolic alkalosis. All right, one more. We have a pH of 7.23. Okay, well, that's over here. We have a PaCO2 of 50. That's over here. Then we have a bicarb of 28. Well, it's in the middle. We connect these two together. We have an acidosis condition. It's in the respiratory area, and it's uncompensated. That's about it for ABG interpretation. You know, the big thing about ABG interpretation is look at the pH first. If it is normal, it's compensated. Um, and then you further on interpret. If it is abnormal, it's either on this side or this side, just outside of this, it is either going to be partially or uncompensated. Partially will be everything circled on the peripheral for partially and, or uncompensated. If you circle anything in the middle, it is uncompensated ABGs. That's about it. That's that's ABG interpretation and advanced ABG interpretation. I can be found on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Etsy and nursingcamp.com where you can download my sticky notes and social media. That's about it. Nurse on and we'll see you next time.